Wow. Shut the F up. Ouch. Shut the F Ouch. up. Ouch. It's the Ouch. O'Day Show. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, Superfly singing along. I am Superfied, <laughs> man. <laughs> What's lagging it? What up, brother, man? 212-757-1027 is our phone line. I just walked into the studio. Yeah. What is this one all about? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm just a flaming fag. <laughs> ah, uh, one of those. One of those. Rick, Rick always likes pulling the clips of us saying we're fags. Sort of justifies him being, I guess. Uh. <laughs> All right, so I just walked into the studio, and yeah. uh, Anthony was laughing his ass off with God Ben. Damn. What the hell did I miss? Well, I'll tell you something. We didn't have our own uh, spaz here for, what, two days? Was it two days with yeah, the, we were spazless? And uh, the phones suffered. And I think everybody was in sort of a weird mood. Yeah, it's because our own spaz. It's, like it's like when you have to take your beagle to the vet, and he's got to stay over. You go home, and... It's just something missing. Something missing. Oh, there's no one crapping on the floor or eating the furniture or, you know, you don't got to feed it and it's a pain in the ass and walking and the fleas. But something's missing in that house, isn't it? You, you feel a little empty. Yeah. An empty feeling comes upon you. Yeah. And then we realized it was uh, Spaz. Spaz is the catalyst of this radio show. Not two seconds after I walk into this stu studio, me and Ben are just laughing our balls off at, at Spaz telling us about his, his couple of days off. All right. Can I back up before you tell that story? Yeah. So... Everyone knows by now I'm in a lot of pain. I have yes. a, a really bad back, and I was home yes. last night. Phone rings, and it's Spaz. He, he calls just, you at home? He just calls me at home. I don't think he would ever call me at home. <laughs> no and and he, he calls me at home, and I'm like, why are you calling me at home? And he goes, well, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I noticed you have like, a relationship with everyone else on the, on the, on the show, so I, I figured I'd call and see, <laughs> see what's going on. <laughs> That's great. And I'm just on the couch in pain, you know. That is fun. Oh, effing great. And he, <laughs> and he goes, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want you to get guys to think I'm really stupid. But you, I am. You know, that Spaz we can review. You, you, don't, you don't really think I'm stupid, do you? <laughs> um, no, yes. No, right. not at all. No, no, not not until he started talking about his little. Uh, all right, wait, wait, get get Spaz in here. This is just classic. You gotta hear. You gotta hear from his uh, his own head, Spaz. Yes. Hey, Spaz, welcome back to the uh, fold. Lift Thank up you. that mic. Thank you. Is it is it true you're now calling me at home because you 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 want to have a relationship with me? Not in a sexual <laughs> relationship. Not not in a sexual sense, but you feel like I have relationships with everyone else that works on the show. And, hey. And you kind of <laughs> you kind of felt a little left out, so you, you decided you know maybe to break the ice, you'd call me at home, right? I just thought I'd get a little closer to the show. <laughs> oh. And Spaz, um, why, why didn't you give me a call? <laughs> yeah, right. I, I don't have your number. Everyone knows uh, just to leave you alone. <laughs> just, just leave me alone. It's, I'm best it's, just left alone. Yeah. I show up for the show. Do the show, then leave me alone again. Like in Spaz's head, he debates, hmm, should I call Ope at home? But when it comes in, it's like, no, he just knows I, I just will not call him at home ever. <laughs> mm, yeah. Spaz, you want a little uh, I don't know, relationship with the show? What, um, what, are you, what are you doing this weekend? What am I doing this weekend? Any, any plans Saturday? Um, I, I'm working... Any plans maybe Sunday? No, not at all. How would you like to mow my lawn? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, Spaz, you think I have relationships with everyone else on the show? And you just feel like we haven't been connecting lately? or I just want, like, an outside relationship. Like, just maybe <laughs> hang out maybe once. Outside. Maybe once. <laughs> hang I'm out. Really, like, what's it, no, just so you can get to know me at, outside of work mode. You mean, like, hang out, have a few beers? Yeah. Maybe just... talk about the colored... <laughs> I think he's talking more like going to Chuck E. Cheese and going into the ball cage. No. I mean, like, shoot the place. He's 23 now. He's 23. I think you can handle the ball cage at Chuck E. Cheese. Now, um... <laughs> it's bad. What would you like to do outside the station? Uh, none of us have lives outside this radio yeah. show. We're boring. No, just, like, hang out, have a couple of beers, kick back, shoot the breeze, you know, just talk, you know, just... Just talk about things, what's going on in each other's lives, just connect. You know? God, me and Ovi don't even do that. We, we used to do that, but now it's like, uh, hi. <laughs> we used to do that. I don't even live near you anymore. Well, that's, that's, that's the big problem with that. But uh, I, 
So we'd go out and we'd drink beers and... and yeah, I and wanted to have lunch last weekend, but you were busy. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, that old gag. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy. Well, I spend most of the week these days in the city. And he wanted me to come all the way back in the city on a Saturday to have lunch with them. I'm like, Spaz. on a Saturday? Yeah, it's not going to work. Wow, that's like a day off and everything. Maybe after uh, after the show, start off with uh, a couple of beers at a bar somewhere or something. Right. Yeah. Spaz, give us a, like a scenario. So you call me up and say, hey, oh, let's uh, yeah, let's, let's go get some beers. Yeah, let's go hang out uh, wherever you go to get beers. I would come down. Hey, hello, Opie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Greg, <laughs> if I may call you. Yeah. Uh, hi, this is Spaz. Hi, Kevin. Uh, oh, oh, okay, Kevin. That's Kevin, good. yeah. Um, listen, uh, uh, I'm not doing anything um, this weekend. I'm wondering if you want to meet me in Philly for a cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be here anyway. So, uh, all right, and then, then what happens? Like, No, we just talk to see if uh, you, know, you get to know me outside of the show. You get to know a little bit more about okay. who I am. Yeah. Oh, can I mow your lawn? <laughs> How would you like to mow my lawn? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we could do that. <laughs> can, wow. I, can I tape the whole thing for the radio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought it would be better if we knew each other a little bit more. Well, that's probably worse. <laughs> Spaz, you best be, left on the you, working relationship. You don't want to get in my pants, do you? No. <laughs> let's, let's, just, no. let's just get it out on the table. Let's, <laughs> get to know no. me. I need some hot man breath. Yeah. <laughs> That's what girls say, get to know you better. Guys just, like, hang yeah. out. No, yeah. I just want to hang. When guys hang out. It's not like a big planned thing. Yeah, You're just like, just, hey, what are you doing, Guys man? just hang out. They don't, like, you know, say, I want to get to know you better. You just kind of hang out, and then, I don't know. Get to know how you start off your career, a little bit you know, more. I think we getting... went through that on the air, didn't we? Yeah, but it's <laughs> different off the air. Yeah, it's not as personal, is it? Yeah. 40 yeah. hours a week isn't enough? No, but, I mean, outside we, it should just kick I back. I spend more time doing. with you than uh, the girl I'm living with. Than Sandy. Yeah, but I think you should know me outside of the show. <laughs> really? And I should know you outside of the show. Is there something to know? <laughs> no, but I mean, wouldn't you want to know who you're working with? Opie, I work at Bell Laboratories. <laughs> I'm actually a rocket scientist. <laughs> <laughs> There's something you should know about me. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, Matt wants to know if you're gay. I, uh, uh, Matt. Yeah. Hi. What's up, dude? Is, is he gay? <laughs> he sounds like my crying girlfriend. He's unbelievable. I want to hang out with you. I want to hang out with you. What's wrong with you, Spaz? Yeah, guys just, guys just like all of a sudden it just happens. They hang out. They don't, yeah. they don't make plans or yeah, anything. Yeah, man, you, you finish work and you say, oh, you want to go grab a beer? And you go grab a beer. You don't make plans. It's like <laughs> Girls make plans. Yeah, girl <laughs> chicks make plans. Chicks right. make plans in advance and all that. Guys, it just happens. You see out at the bar, oh, Opie, I have to go to the bathroom. You want to come with me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, all right, Spaz, this is how it works, okay? Yeah. All right, I'm staying in the city tonight. Yes. We're thinking of maybe just going to get some food after work. Is that okay? You want to join us? Yeah. I would love wow. To. Okay. There you go. That's what you do. Okay. You don't go like, hey, what are you doing Saturday? <laughs> you know. I just like to know what, are you, what, 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 what are you going to be wearing? I mean. <laughs> I just like to know what I'm doing. All right. Well, so would we. Put a hold on. <laughs> stupid! You're so stupid! <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> Not gay. <laughs> Reggie, what's going hey. on? Hey, listen. Hey. There's an Whoa. ulterior hey. motive here. Is right? The ulterior motive is, is he used to be able to say he just worked with you guys and hook up. Yeah. Now he wants to say, oh, I'm personal friends with the Hang, Opsta. You know out. what I'm saying? Well, he's a friend of ours. Nah, I know, but he's using you guys. No, it's not so much. The funny thing is, it's, you know, the Opie and Anthony show. Exactly. But obviously, Spaz is, uh, I don't know, drawn more to Opie, feeling that he should have this relationship with Opie. You're like the third wheel now. <laughs> I, I feel withdrawn from you. And, 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 and listen. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta let you go, Reggie. It's getting better in here. Wait, wait, wait. One minute. Real fast. Real he's fast. very sentimental. He should be writing Hallmark cards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Reggie. You, you feel what toward Anthony? Withdrawn. He feels withdrawn towards I, me. Why? I, I feel like this is blocking because I remember there was one time Anthony was saying on the air that the only people he talks to were you and then sometimes Ray can talk just about the show. He talks to no one else. Yeah. I figured that he doesn't want to take any calls from anybody else, so I feel like he's putting that blockade 
towards uh, around them towards everybody else. And, okay, finally, Spaz is right. <laughs> <laughs> and just doesn't talk to anyone though. Yeah. But I, I believe me, I would love to call him. Just you know. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> it's, just, no. it's just that I, I, we only know each other like in work mode as coworkers. Yes. I would like to know each other as friends too. Oh, you know, right. as outside social. Maybe you could, uh, I don't know, uh, hook me up in one of those hotel rooms you get. <laughs> yeah, we got to get back into that. Oh, this is too funny. So, Spaz, okay, look. <clears throat> we, we probably are going to get a bite to eat after work. You yes. can join us. Okay. That's, that's how it works. I'd love to. <laughs> you would love to? <laughs> I'd love to. Ooh. Just don't sit next to me. Can I your book sit like sit like on the other side of the table. But how am I supposed to talk to you? you why do you want to talk <laughs> to me? Know, man? Is, oh my even when God. even when we go out, we go out all, all the time after the show, and we don't talk. We just sit there and eat our food and get drunk. I always end up talking to Earl, but that's no fun. Get the hint. You goof on stuff. That's all. We have like a kitty table when we go out. It's pretty we funny. We, we have like the we have like the not saying the main guys, but like Rick, Ben, Psycho, Mark, me. And when he goes out with us. And then we have like a kitty table that has like stinky black girl <laughs> and spaz. <laughs> the kitty table. Though he's trying to get into the conversation and he's just not paying attention. But they're at the other table and they, they try to hey, get involved, but it's hey. just not working. It's like That's a short bus. I yeah. want to break that barrier. You want to <laughs> break that barrier. Have you been going to like counseling or something? No, it's just, I just feel like we should know each other more. Oh, there's the barrier. <laughs> it broke right through it. Spaz, Ant and I are like pretty good friends. We've been hanging for seven years. We don't need to get to know each other that well. Yeah, we know yeah. each other. We now. know each other. You just you, when you hang out with guys, you just you just know them. Yeah, but I I feel that I I I well I want to work with you guys for a long time, so I feel I should get to know you as best as I can. It's, I love the revelations that come out. <laughs> All right. So it is so. Well, cool. let's start with a little dinner tonight, okay? <laughs> That'll be great. Okay. Now it's gonna be awkward after the show. <laughs> it's gonna. Be yeah, it's, it's gonna totally be awkward like now. awkward now. Now, Dude. now, Opie's gonna be totally paranoid to be left alone with Spaz. You know why? No, I'll tell you something because it started out hanging out, people going out. You know what this is turning into? A friggin' date. It's yeah. a date yeah. now. It's, it's turning now. into a date. Even though there's, uh, you know. Uh, because I don't feel like abusing you. I know there's nothing gay about this, but now you put me in an awkward situation where I'm going to feel like, oh, God, now i got to sit next to him. Now you got to talk gonna, to him. And... We're going to walk in the restaurant, and now I'm going to have to purposely make sure you sit close to me so I can, like, you know, make believe I care about what you have to say. Hey, hey, These hey. are the type of questions Whoa. you should be asking. Hey. Like, how's the family? How's the mood going? <laughs> How's my family? I yeah, don't like, even know. Like, <laughs> how is Sandy doing today? How is Erica doing today? We should be asking these questions. Oh. We should be asking these questions. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> we don't care. Be oh. quiet, huh? <laughs> All right, so now we got the awkwardness of after the show, we're going to dinner, and I'll make sure you sit close enough where I could ask you a couple awkward questions. How would you like to mow my lawn? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I know you're not going to touch me, oh. but it's not even that. Oh. He's, he's got to tell me I'm not going to touch you. Oh. Hell, man. Oh. No, just so you, like, you, you get to hey. open this out. And for the love of God, come out with us tonight. <laughs> okay, terrific. It'll, it'll give us a whole show tomorrow. This is great. This is just some great, great uh, funny stuff. Huh. I'm not gay. I, uh, we're not, <laughs> we're not oh saying you're God. gay. Okay, hey, you you're, you're you're giving us an opportunity to you know abuse you and and say you're gay for the next half hour, but it's even, <laughs> it's even weirder the other way. <laughs> that you care that much. I care about no you one guys cares as about friends. me that much. I care Jesus. about you guys as friends and as coworkers, but I only know you as coworkers. I want to know you guys as friends. Spaz, you know how Spaz you make the line between coworker and friend, and this is an honest way to assess it. <laughs> Seriously, if if this job ended tomorrow. Mm -hmm. After like a week of calling and talking to each other about, oh, my God, I can't believe we all got the boot. Would we ever hang out again? Now, you got to seriously assess this. Me and Ope, I could honestly see, yes, uh, hanging out. Going, uh, we'd have to look for a new job. Yeah. <laughs> so that. <laughs> I would hang out with Rick because I'm going out with his sister. That's, right. That's pretty much the only reason right. there. 
Um, ben, ben, Psycho Mark, okay, you know, it would be nice to think that uh, we would actually keep in touch, but in time, you know how radio is and stuff. Once you look, like the people at AAF up in Boston, we don't speak to one of those people. I'll go back to my gang at BAB. We, yeah. were, we were real tight, and I don't see any of them anymore, So there's a workplace camaraderie that goes on, but as far as the really getting into the personal life, mm -hmm. You know, my friend, uh, let's say Joe Curry or Adam Ferrara, they don't work here with us, but we have a very good friendship that goes over the years. No matter what happens at my work, I'm still friends with them. See, I don't know if that's going on yet. I'm not saying it might not, mm -hmm. but uh, the way to make dates like this isn't the way to really get it going. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know. If the show broke up tomorrow, I would see Opie. Aunt, I, I would see Ant and I would see Rick. Rick wouldn't see Ant much. Probably not, unless, of and course, we all got another gig together. And I would definitely not see Ben, Psycho Mark, or you again. Probably well, not. You within, to me? With, within a... F yeah. If I it'd be like the phone calls about, oh, my God, you know, how, how's it going? You, you know, got any leads on a job or something like that? If I saw you on the, you know, in, in the park, drunk on a park bench, I might say, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> We'd run away. You know, I'd talk to you if I bumped into you, but the reality is I probably wouldn't hang out with you anymore. Yeah, it's like a, you know, working relationship where you're very good friends at, at work. But that's pretty much. Uh, I mean, nothing where against you as a person, but that's yeah, just how there have it been, goes. There have been some very good people, and very good friends at the workplace that we just don't talk to anymore. It's just the nature of the beast. We, we we worked in Boston for three years, and uh, we had some uh, pretty close relationships with people at the station and and outside the station. I hang out with one of them. That's it. Yeah. Not even a phone call. Every no. once in a while. No. <laughs> call me. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call you? Call me. Yeah, it would be nice because I keep calling you and I, and I don't. I get one, <laughs> one or two calls. Oh my god, dude! It sounds like oh a chick. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You know, hold I call you, married? dude. Are you stalking him? <laughs> no. It's just that I'm trying to get to know him. Oh. I'm, I'm getting a little jealous of Spy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have all the psychopaths after me? I'm not a psycho. I just, Why doesn't Anthony have the psychopath? I call him he's if got, you give me his number. He's got it. That's why. He's an incredibly talented individual. Latch, <laughs> latch on to him. Oh, Why is everyone no. latching on to me? I'm not latching on. It's just that I want to. I I feel like I don't know you. I feel like I don't know you. Just These are words that come out of a girl's shit. mouth when she's pissed off about how the relationship's Spaz, gone. There are people in my family oh. that don't that don't know me. My girlfriend doesn't know me. I, I come home and stare at a TV. She wants to talk to me. I swear oh. to God, he, ha he has a vagina. <laughs> it is so funny. It's it's the way a girl talks when the relationship yeah. isn't going well. You, I don't know you. I want to get to know, know what you it better. Is. Why don't you open up to me? Why don't you call me back? Are you working on hey. an unauthorized uh, bio or something? No, it's just... You're working on a book on the Opie and Anthony show? <laughs> <laughs> no, not about the Opie and Anthony you need, show. You need some uh, background? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're writing wait, on a... Stop, wait. stop. stop. Did you hear what you just said? You're working on a book? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Does it God. have something to do with uh, Ant and I? No, but it's based on characters in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. Oh, they're in his head. <laughs> Spaz, thank God you're back. Yeah. <laughs> we missed God. you. We missed you. Big homo. You're right. turning into something that it's not. I am not homo. It's I'm not. I don't, I want Spaz, to I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to work that angle. No. I'm going to so give you the benefit of the here. doubt. It's just. It's a little weird, though. <laughs> I understand that. Well, guys, just, guys just don't get to know other guys, really. They just have this... Yeah, you hang out. This unspoken thing. When you hang out with guys, you nod. Oh, wow, that was a great uh, play on the TV. <laughs> Give me another beer. It's not like but, guys... Uh, look, at the, look at the you know the boobs on that girl. <clears throat> that's that's guy stuff. You're, you're thinking of the guys that are like the guys in chick flicks, you know, that hang out with their friends and discuss things in depth. Do you, cry on each other's shoulder. Do you want to like, you know, start calling me on a nightly basis and and start gossiping about everyone? And no, I don't want to bother you that way. I mean, like maybe bother you other way. No, once a week would be nice. Well, I can't talk a to you weekly once a week. phone call. Or once every dude, week. Dude, do dude. I call you at home once a week? Maybe. Mm, maybe not, on a Sunday I'll be yeah. like, hey, how was your weekend? Yeah, or something, nah. you know. The most I hear from Ann is maybe once every two weeks. But yeah. that's because he withdraws Outside himself the show. from people. <laughs> I withdraw myself from people. Now he's a psychologist. Yeah. No, <laughs> the, the reason is I have my friends. That's it. I'm done. Spaz, the I'm reason, done making them. The reason is because after, you know, spending a week trying to put on a, a talk show like mm -hmm. we do, you know, the last thing I want to see is you guys. Talking about. Yeah, but you only have seen me for a year and like two or three months. You've known yeah. Anthony for six years. So you, you've gotten to know Anthony a little bit better than me. 
I want you to know me too. <laughs> I want you to know me. But uh, but Spaz, I'm going out with Anthony. I can't. I don't. <laughs> it's like. Doesn't this sound like he's, hey. he's, he's trying to be like my new girlfriend? Yes. I, have an, I have a girlfriend already, I'm Spaz. Not, I'm not trying to be anything. I just want us to be tighter friends. If it doesn't tighter. work out, if it doesn't work oh. out with Aunt no, I, I'll consider it. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to say? He finally sits home. I can just picture the Opie and Spaz show. We don't need Anthony. We don't need him. Only Opie could see my hidden talent. And Anthony would just disassociate himself with everybody to the point where Opie gets fed up and he leaves. And then Opie would say, Spaz, here, this is a phone call. Hello, Spaz. <laughs> it's Opie. Anthony left. And I want you to come on board. And I want to call it the Opie and Spaz. Wait, no, no. The Spaz and Opie show. That's what I want. <laughs> He needs me. No, this, <laughs> so, Spaz, this is it. When Ant and I go our separate ways, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. No more radio shows. Can I use you for a reference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do that. There you go. That's why I'm playing the stock market like a crazy man, because <laughs> just in case. I'm not saying cut Anthony off altogether. I'm just saying get the number two. <laughs> so, so, so he can continue his friendship <laughs> with Anthony. But you want to be in his life, too. This is classic. We have another stalker working <laughs> five feet from me. I'm not stalking you. It's just that I just Stinky, Stinky just came in the studio. Stinky, call me. <laughs> Spaz, were you, were you stalking this radio show before we hired you? I actually, I, have, I only tuned it in the day before my interview. Okay, terrific. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! 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 Whoa! 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 There's some greatness and feedback coming in. Mike from Queens. Hey, Ope, can me and my girl double date with you and Spaz? <laughs> <laughs> Mark from Jersey. I think Spaz wants to hang with you guys so that you will stop making fun of him. I think he, he thinks that if he becomes your friend, you will find it harder to make fun of him. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it. No. See, you only know me as Spaz. You don't know me as Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Spaz. Oh. So we're going to start with a little uh, dinner tonight, right? Dinner will be great. <laughs> okay. You guys want your own table? Someone better bring the DAT recorder tonight. We're going to get a table, and I'm recording my mm. conversation with yeah. you. I have to. Now it's going to be awkward. We go out oh, Rick, you can't sit there. Spaz has to sit there. I know. I, I don't want to sit next to you. I want to sit across so we can play footsie. <laughs> <laughs> Spaz sounds like Carl from Caddyshack. <laughs> Yo, just hang out. You know. Cannonball. Cannonball. Got that going for you. All right. Well, people checking in. Oh, no, it's the new sensitive Spaz. <laughs> uh, was, I, was I okay on the phone last night when you called? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. What, were you, what, what did you expect? No. I told you I was in pain. I, I shared. I, I told yes. you how much pain I was in with my back, right? There was one part of the conversation which I didn't, I, I thought was a, was a little bit, you know, you know, eh, eh. Oh, <laughs> no. God. And what part was that? Like, like the part when I said that I'm not really that dumb. <laughs> and then, and then I, you said, okay. And I thought like you were just passing it <laughs> off as, as like a meaningless comment. But meanwhile, it, it, it was not a meaningless comment. All right. I, <laughs> You did say you just wanted to tell me that you weren't as dumb as everyone thinks. Yes. Okay. But you know, you just—I thought you just passed it off, and it, it, it kind of got me, th you know, a little, you know, a little <laughs> upset, maybe thinking a little, and so I thought I'd approach you with it. Is this like an, another April Fool's uh, joke? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's gotta be. You know, it is tough because I love you so much, and, and, and you don't—you don't love me. All right. Uh, Opie, yeah. Uh, this fax just came in from my friend Joe Curry. Yes. Plankfoot. Yeah. Uh, Aunt, let's meet for some wine and cheese. I think we're drifting apart. <laughs> Foot, so I th <laughs> thank you, Foot. I, I think uh, Spaz, Spaz is opening up a whole new realm of sensitivity with friends. Know how many guys are shaking their heads out there? When you want to be friends with guys, it just happens. You don't make plans. You don't have to get too deep. You don't call them at home, really. Unless you say, hey, uh, hey, Ope, uh, Bill's having a cake party Saturday. Uh, you don't, you want to go? Great. Yeah, you would never go to a cake party with me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Do you have God. any other friends besides us? Yes, I do. And what's his name? All right, listen. All right, Spaz, we'll try to be friends. Okay. It'll, it'll start tonight at dinner. That'll be cool. All right. all right. We Let's won't hang. put we won't put you on the uh, <clears throat> at the kitty table. You'll sit at the big boys table. All right. Cool. 
Tom from Long Island. Hey, oh, bring a rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eric from Jersey is, is, is uh, quoting me. It says, Spaz, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cranky ass from Midtown writes. Hey, Cranky oh, ass. Hey, oh, will you call me tonight? I'd ask Ann, but I feel withdrawn from him. Yeah. Everybody's withdrawn. Are you my pal? <laughs> we, well, we also have to talk to him about uh, why we brought him in in the first place. Obviously, the, the conversations go awry when he comes in here. Yeah. But uh, he had a, his birthday. Yes. Was uh, when? Monday? Yesterday. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. Spaz, but now Monday if you're calling me at home on your birthday, why, why wouldn't you share that with me? <laughs> I slipped my mind. You're going to send me a card? My birthday's coming up. Aunt's, I, I, Aunt's actually, birthday's coming up I've soon. I've written down. Yeah. I just don't have your ages. Oh, you don't want to know our ages. What, what do you want a card with the age on it? Like, a, you know, you, today you're five. I, I keep tra <laughs> you know one of those? I keep track of people's ages. What? I don't think they... I like to know how old people oh, are. Oh my I like God. to say young because nobody's ever Hallmark, old. Hallmark, does, Hallmark doesn't make cards for our ages. They, yeah. I think they stop at, thir so, at and, 13. And, and that's not anything that, like, anyone really asks or needs to know on a card you just send a, if you feel like sending a birthday card like if we knew it was your birthday i wouldn't be like so you're 23 like a hand, little handwritten hey 23 you know i mean I, you just send happy birthday kevin you know i i say happy then the age birthday and then i do like a little thing like my nana oh my that's what my God. nana would do what do you mean you do a little you're thing. 12 today <laughs> Well, next year, you're a teenager. What, what do you mean you do a little thing with the age? I play on the age. It depends on the age. I play like, like a little, like, like try to make a, like a little joke, trying to like... Oh, my He's God. got jokes. <laughs> it's a little joke. I just try to do something, you know, to make the card live. Like, I think you watch Martha Stewart before you get here, yeah. don't you? No, I don't. Try to do something with the card. Maybe a little play on the age. <laughs> Yeah, happy birthday, F face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spaz said earlier that he's uh, working on a book. Spaz's book title, Men Are From Mars and I Am From Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you guys something, man. You know, this radio show doesn't need writers like like all the other top radio shows in this, in this town. Because no. we have our listeners. You guys come yeah. up with better stuff than anybody that we would hire to write this crap. So now, um... Yeah, we were going to talk about uh, his birthday and what he did Wait, on his birthday. A stone C from Jersey. Hey, oh, try a Let's Be Friends Vermont Teddy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Another one from the listeners. You guys are the best. Or give a bear caster a call and get Anthony the withdrawn bear. <laughs> are you my pal? <laughs> How'd you like to mow my lawn? Huh? Okay, terrific. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> All right, listen. Coming. <laughs> We'll start with tonight. Someone uh, bring the tape recorder because I'm I'm yeah. I, I'm recording my conversation with uh, Spaz tonight. Yeah, you're definitely. not gonna feel awkward if we have a a, a, a dad player running the tape rolling. No, but just just make sure, just open talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me. Open up. Talk to me. You never talk to me. <laughs> oh no. Chara. Oh, no. Chara's in, Wait, in the I studio. I want to defend Spaz. You want to defend Spaz? Because yeah. he gave me a birthday card last uh -oh. week. All right, last week was your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. How old were you, or you don't want to tell anyone? Uh, 23. 23, okay. 20. So he had something cute to say about 23? No, yeah, he was very nice. He got me a nice Christmas card also. He really knows how to write cards. He's so nice. Read the card. You can read it. All right. <laughs> Can't wait for Chara. Spaz greeting cards. Happy birthday. <laughs> Why'd you write the question marks after happy? Because that means my age. Wait, keep reading. Uh, yeah, okay. I have no clue how young you are, but you look 18. Well, there oh, you go. thank you. I hope that you get all that you wish for on your birthday because you deserve it. You are a fellow Aries and a friend. Ooh, very into the astrology thing. <laughs> I'm I hope a, that a, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I hope that we will remain friends for more birthdays to come. Stay wonderful and happy birthday, Kevin. Wow, handwritten. That's nice. Are you my pal? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's that Spaz, is very nice. You're into the signs, right? Yes, I am. I'm a Gemini. Your yes, your birthday's in May. I I, I forgot May which day. I know what yes, day yours is. May twenty third. We make, we make a great couple. I don't I don't very I don't believe yeah. in astrology, but mm -hmm. I am. Uh, what they say about Gemini about being like a psychopath and and, and split personality and uh, edgy and all that—that's mm -hmm. all me. 
I'm, I'm a true Aries, too. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, listen. So he's gonna try, I'm going to try and ram you in the, in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ant. Yeah. We do have to take a quick break, but... Uh, yeah, we got to talk about his birthday. He uh, went out, stayed at a hotel. <laughs> he stayed in the city. You know how sometimes you decide to stay in the city? And uh, he grabbed a hotel here in the city. You never guess which one. <laughs> All right. I mean, it is a good story because I, I walked into the studio, like I said, about 40 minutes ago. This started, and these guys were laughing their balls off. We just went off on a tangent here, but we have to get to the reason why we have Spaz in the studio. Yeah. He spent his birthday in the city <laughs> and, and spent a bloody fortune, I guess. We